Hi everybody and welcome back. In this video, I want to take you through heterogeneous equilibrium and how you write the KC for a heterogeneous equilibrium, looking particularly at what would be different from a homogeneous equilibrium KC expression and a heterogeneous equilibrium KC expression. Here you can see I've got an example of an equilibrium set up on the board, and this is an example of a heterogeneous equilibrium. The reason it's a heterogeneous equilibrium is because one or more of the components of the equilibrium have got a different state symbol, or we can say are in a different phase than other components of the equilibrium mixture. So here we've got quite a good patterning of solid, aqueous, aqueous, solid. Liquids and gases could be included in this as well, just not this particular example that I'm giving you for this first one. So, when we've got a heterogeneous equilibrium like this, any solids or liquids get left out of the KC expression. If everything was a liquid, that would be a homogeneous equilibrium and you would put everything into the KC expression. But when you've got a heterogeneous equilibrium, which has got a combination of lots of different state symbols or even just a few like this one, any solids and any liquids leave them out. And it's because their concentrations are so high, they're actually considered constant and they would influence the KC calculation too much. So, when we write our KC expression, remember that it's always going to be concentration of the products divided by concentration of the reactants. And you only put in those which don't have a solid or liquid state symbol when you're looking at a heterogeneous equilibrium like this one. As a result, when we look at the KC expression here, you can see that we've got quite a lot of activity has now been left out. We've had to leave out the copper solid, and we've had to leave out the silver solid. Even though there was a two coefficient in front of this, it's gone, it's been left out completely. The remaining terms are in their correct positions for products and reactants. I've got my square brackets to show me the concentration of. I've left out the state symbols because it's not included in mark schemes, it's not a mandatory feature, plus you're giving it up here, so you don't get any reward for just repeating the obvious. You also notice that the two that's in front of the silver ions on the left here on my reactant side is now the power of on the denominator of the KC expression. So that still takes place, that's your normal KC assembly technique. When you assemble a heterogeneous KC expression, you may find that this one you take quite a lot out. I've seen examples where there are four components up here, but only one component actually makes it to the KC expression. And then you only use information about that particular component to calculate the KC. Don't worry about it. It's perfectly normal and it's exactly what you need to be doing. I hope this clears up what the difference between a homogeneous and a heterogeneous KC equilibrium expression would look like. Until next time, happy revising. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the links on screen now to be taken to other videos from Module 5 on our channel.